Let's look closer on the procedure, terrains, and terrain editor. So we'll go access our terrain editor. And you'll notice from the standard terrain, it's have it some different. Most important is right here. Now we have it zones and a function tabs or procedure tabs. We also enable our options to extend terrain canvas. Some of these properties, it will be disappear like lunar, or we can load it images or some options. And options you can still access from your function, so they won't be kind of a little bit irrelevant to access here, but just overall, they are kind of disappearing. There also you have your resolution tab, and you remember what I said before, you can increase if you want to see here better details, how the terrain look. However, that will be no effect on a render, so it's only for the preview. And sometimes I do increase a little bit to 512 because I notice some function resolution a little bit too defined, so I don't see all details. And I like to see a little bit higher effect. So our paint tab, you notice it's exactly the same. And our effect tab is the same. We have a two new procedures where you can modify functions, and we have it the zones. There are also other things. Keep it in mind. Before I says this is disabled, but you can switch to the standard terrain. Uh, be careful when you do because if you work on the functions and you define, and see what's happening. I switch to the standard terrain. It says, "Hey, look, I can apply now some effect," and I'll go switch black to back to the procedure, and now my function is reset. So I lose some uh, some presets in this case. So be careful when you does this, and again. Now, because it's you not know, applied, it's applied instantly to your terrain. So if you exit, you still have it your terrain in this case. You just need it go to undo, redo effect, okay? And right here you can see effect. So in some cases, you kind of have a problem now if you did this effect. Um, it's the reason why you need to create snapshots before other things. So be careful when you do work with terrains, you may kind of have an irreversible effect when you're switching. Okay, I do recommend if you like what you created, save it, save your work, or go file and create it snapshot. So for example, I go create new snapshot, and if I do apply some changes, okay, which I like, oh, I don't like it. So I have it right here, I can go to and do some cases, sometimes you cannot do, but you always can go and revert to the snapshot that we did before. Okay, so let's go back to our editing. It's just small tips kind of, so be careful when you create it and um, when you modify it. Okay, let's look closer on our terrain. Uh, the one thing will be different actually till we mention some options it is zero edges so notice it's enabled by default and we have a nice smooth coming so if i disable the terrain become almost infinity and it's based partially on infinity idea of infinity terrain so it's we're just clipping areas kind of increasing this terrain and infinity terrain it will extend all the way so if you need a single mountain, you can enable this. If you want, maybe just place camera right here in the middle and look like it's in all mountains going. So you can disable in um, zero edges. Okay, let's, let's look next on the um, functions or procedures what we're using. And you notice right here we have one procedural where we can double time click, open our browser and preload it or you preset from there or if you right click and edit function you can go directly into function editor and modify from there we'll look at this in function editor a little bit more closer when we start to work with the advanced type of the view so we'll go inside and look on all these properties but overall right here you can specify what terrain you want it so for example if i want um, fractal terrain let me take meta scale down and just pop up just a little bit smooth out. Okay, so I can create a different type of terrain for this. The other things also what I like to do, it is increase resolution because again, this is, does not affect at all how it will render. It will affect only 
re preview for me. So I can increase uh, resolution preview and in many cases I can see some details like a few times I was working on terrain and it's look very smooth to me but when I increase I saw all this grayness so I need to rework a little bit on the stones it does help but again if you increase higher you'll get better but overall it will be slower to work so it's kind of need good balance between whatever you find but at least 5 twelfths would have said so now we have a function we can have it scale for this function we want to apply it so we want to increase or decrease however increasing decreasing scales does not affect your resolution again remember it's a fractal so just overall the each elements how large you want them to be so we can increase but you notice we still have those details okay okay next we have the filter and it's similar to what we've done before so we can go and just have this kind of edge right here we'll apply it and this again it's applied to mapping currently we have an object parametric we never spoke before about mapping modes and this become more important when we start working with the materials but overall we have it directly to the object object parametric which is take size and size it to directly size of the object world which is stretch to old world or world parametric so it's more of this will look when we start working directly with um, materials they will kind of help you to a little bit better with this so let me go reset okay so we have it a nice move instead of this okay next we have the fast shadows and this is just mostly in a preview we can force extension vertical gain and a quality boost so we can increase some of this but overall um, if you leave as a default they work just uh, as well okay next um actually one thing before if you have it, some problem with the z index you may want to pop up just a little bit quality boost and it's mostly will affect this sides kind of you see edges and kind of roughness so you can pop up quality but in many cases just basic zero it will work just fine in most cases okay next let's go look on the zones and why zones important because it is in um procedure terrain and if I need edit some small segment, I have a hard time to access because remember, it will recreate as closer you're going. So I can have problems to affect some small areas, um, but I can select it. And this become more relevant when you work with infinity terrains, because how do you edit specific segment on infinity terrain? So in this case, like for example, if it's infinity terrain right here, and I want to edit just this segment right here, I can actually go ahead, create a zone, take zone in this area, and notice right now, now I'm close up on this zone, okay? And I can add additional zone just to right here, so I can even get the closer and closer, so I can have multiple zones. So right here, my entire terrain, here is my zone. And when I work with the zone, you notice I don't have it effect tab because it's a global effect tab. It does not affect it. But I have it my paint tool, so I can go directly to the small and just apply it something directly in there. Okay. Again, I have it a very big follow, so I need to slow down, reduce some sizes. Okay, and let's just invert. So I can reduce a little bit right here. And again, it's up to you how you want to create, but overall you can affect, you can apply materials specifically, same thing, so like we did at pebbles or other effect. Um, if you start using procedures, it's one apply just to the segment, it will be global applied. So don't think when you change the, um, function you'll change global function not just the area okay let's go back to zone so right here i can preview and it's right here small things you can see it's kind of what we added and you can create multiple zones you can also take this zone and extract that zone from the area so it will become as separate so yes it will create a hole right here but you notice right here we created second terrain so the second terrain is that hole that we just extracted. 
so you can separate it, remove it, and do other things. Okay. And you can see we have a kind of hole appear because we do extract, kind of remove it. But overall, right here, we have a different um, with the zones, how you work. And then that become quite a bit more useful when you have an infinity terrain and you may have a camera fly over, but you want to work on some specific mountain, remove it, modify it, and place it. So in this way, it's allowed you with the zones work a little bit better. The fading is allowed you this zone, how much that uh, specific zone, okay, how much it will blend with the edges. So we can apply it, a little bit fading, so it will have it a little bit nicer. Currently, you won't see it because we already kind of removed, cut off this extract. But overall, it's blending on the edges because you may apply some effect that too sharp and you don't want to stand them out too high. So you can apply fading on the edges to this. Okay, overall, this is our zones and we work a little bit more with them on infinity terrain. We have, say, we have the procedures that is make a little bit different. You can create a quite a bit sophisticated terrains by using the function editor. We'll look on this overall. Uh, for now, if you want to play around right here, you can see it's come with a very nice pre-built some terrains. So you can always just go preload it, specific terrains if you need it. Okay. Okay, and let's go look more on our infinity terrains.